Hello friends, myself Roger Glish Patak and today we are seeing a new topic in engineering thermodynamics and the name which is being asked today topic is boiler and its classification. So as we know boiler is defined as the closed vessel in which steam is produced from water by combustion of fuel. Also, it is defined as the combination of apparatus for the producing, furnishing or receiving the heat together with the apparatus for transforming the heat. So, it can be made available to the fluid being heated and vaporized. The main objective of boiler is to generate the steam. For achieving this kind of purpose, we can classify these boilers into water tube boilers and fire tube boilers. So what kind of water tube boilers? That the water tube boiler in which the water flows through the tubes which are surrounded by hot combustion gases that is Babcock and Wilcox boiler. And what is fire tube boilers? That is a boiler in which the hot combustion gases passes through the boiler tubes which are surrounded by the water that is Lancashire boiler and Coran boiler. Now these boilers are also classified according to water circulation arrangement that is if the water is naturally circulated then the water circulation in the boiler due to density and difference of hot and cold water that is Babcock and Wilcox boilers are natural circulation boilers while as force circulation it means the water pump forces the water along its path therefore the steam generation rate increases Benson and Lamont Wilcox boiler. Now, According to position of furnace and internally fired boilers are the furnace is located inside the sh shell, Coran and Lancashire boilers, etc. Externally fired boilers are the finance, the furnace is located outside the boiler shell and Babcock and Wilcox boiler, steering boilers, etc. According to use, the boilers can be classified as the stationary, portable and locomotive boiler, while as on the basis of position of boilers, they are classified according horizontal, inclined and vertical boiler. In order to increase the capacity, the fire tube, water tube and water wall boilers are said to be done. In front of your screen, you can see the fire tube boiler in which various parts are mounted and the hatching section of cut section of the fire tube boiler is shown in front of your screen. The steam outing and heat generation is clearly shown in the figure you can see where the hot flue gases are passes over the, over the tubes and the cold water is flow inside the tubes and due to this heat, heat transfer from uh, hot coal to the pipes inside the tube, the heat transfer rate increases and water get evaporated. The collected steam will be uh, collected into the container or steam wall out which gives the heated steam. The fire tube boilers are oldest design and it made so that the products of combination passes through the tube surrounded by the water in the shell. The furnace flame volume can be either be inside or external to the shell that contains the water. The upper steam capacity of fire tube boiler is about 20,000 liter per hour and 
The peak pressure obtained is limited by their large shells to about 300 psi. Fire tube boilers are used for heating system. Now you can see the water tube boiler in front of your screen, the pictorial view and the hatching or cross sectional area of the water tube boiler in the tube you can, you can see. So water tube boilers, water tube boilers are shown into the figure in this area. We can see in water tube boiler the fire, fire generation is at the bottom and the outing most heated high pressure high temperature steam is collected into the container which will be accommodated in to the container with a wall arrangement is there and which is ready for use afterward. A water tube boiler is one of the one in which the product of the combustion passes around the outside and heating the tube containing the water. The water tube diameter is much smaller than the shell diameter of the fire tube boiler. So much higher pressure can be obtained. This is all about the boiler drafts and boiler uh, and steam generation of boiler. Thank you. Thank you very much.